Generic Joe is back with another run and gun game, and this one is one of the earliest ever. It's Frontline for your Atari 2600 VCS. Let's go ahead and take Frontline. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Frontline was published by Coleco and carries a copyright year of 1984. It is based on the 1982 Taito Arcade game. The manual opens with the following. It's dangerous. It's mean. It's war. And now you are there. Your mission? Invade enemy territory and knock out the fortress. To do it, you'll have to travel over tricky terrain and fight against overwhelming odds at every step. Evade attacks. Search and destroy lumbering tanks. Storm the river bridge to face your most difficult challenge, the enemy fort. You must demolish it or die. And if you succeed, a new assignment is yours in another front against a more experienced army. There's no rest, no relaxation, no letting down your guard. You're in the army now. Frontline is an early overhead run and gun game for one or two players alternating with four different difficulty skills. For the controls, you use a joystick to move your soldier and press the button to fire in the direction you are facing. When you are facing enemy soldiers, you'll automatically fire bullets, but when you're facing enemy tanks, you'll automatically fire anti-tank missiles. How convenient. Some terrain, such as trees, will block shots. Some terrain will also hamper your movements. From time to time you will come across blue rectangles that represent enemy tanks. You can enter them by touching and pressing the button. By doing so you will either enter a large heavy tank that fires cannon shots or a smaller and quicker light tank that fires machine guns. You control them just like you control your soldier. If you wish to leave the tank you can press and hold down the button until you do so. When the tank gets hit it will shake for a moment before it explodes. At this time you want to quickly press the button to leave it so you don't lose your life with the tank. Eventually, after making it through the forest and the desert, you'll reach the fortress itself. To defeat it, you must destroy the cannon. Once you do so, you complete the level, and then you go back to the beginning at a higher difficulty skill, up to skill level 4. Scoring-wise, you get 100 points per enemy destroyed, and 1,000 points times the skill level when you complete a round. You start the game with 5 lives and get an extra life when you complete a round, with a maximum limit of 5. Graphically speaking, even though the characters look like relatives to Keystone Capers and a little bit goofy, overall the game looks pretty good for a mid-80s 2600 game, and the bonus screen after you defeat the fort was a very nice touch. And while the sounds are just okay, I did like the musical ditties at play at the start of the game and after you complete levels. Family friendly wise, even though there is no blood, and even though this game would be considered tame by today's standards, this is actually one of the more violent games on the 2600 and might get an E10 up rating if it was released today due to the animated violence. At the time I researched on eBay including shipping, loose copies were going for $9 to $17. So what do I think of Frontline on the 2600? Technically, this is an impressive game with nice long levels, good music, and some nice graphics. It could Controls pretty well too and being able to use the tanks is a big plus. However, getting caught up in the terrain can happen way too easily and can be frustrating at times. And once I completed a whole level, I did not have that much of a desire to go through the game again. So this is one of those titles that I'm glad I had a chance to play, but I might not revisit it. So where am I going to rank Frontline? I'm looking somewhere in the 120s. And actually I think this is going to go right next to Robin Hood at 123. Since I like the variety of screens in Robin Hood just a little bit more, I think I'm going to give that one the edge. So out of the 100 and 72 Atari 2600 games I've now ranked, Frontline is climbing in a tank and driving into the 124 position. Frontline is technically impressive and worth a playthrough if you have a chance to play it, but if you want a run and gun game on the 2600, I'd recommend trying Akari Warriors first. But that's just my opinion, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos, and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Ed from Edland Controllers, to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and if you see a blue rectangle on the ground outside, be careful, it might be a tank. And I think you need a license to operate one of those. Or maybe not. I'm not really sure.